Well, the campaign finance board debates are important just to make sure there are debates. Maybe you know the history that in the last election before this law kicked in, 1993, such a major election in the city's history, Dinkins running for re-election, defeated by Rudy Giuliani, there were no debates, even though the candidates were both taking public matching funds. So um, city council felt, and personally I think it's a good thing, that if people are going to take public money to run for public office, they should at least give the public that person-to-person -person comparison moment and go on television and on radio and uh, stand for debates. In 2001, I asked candidate Michael Bloomberg how he would address asthma rates in the city and particularly the concentration of asthma among children in poor neighborhoods. Now, after this answer, I thought, oh, this guy's not going to be a very good public health mayor. Ha. Mr. Bloomberg, you made some news earlier in the campaign when you said you would emphasize teaching parents, quote, how to clean, unquote, rather than focusing more on the housing code or air quality. Do you stand by that tonight, and how would each of you fight the asthma problem for our kids? Well, there was, uh, I, uh, there was some criticism when I said that, and then the New York Times, two weeks later, had a story talking about exactly that. It is dust in the air that triggers asthma, or it's certainly one of the major things. And like all public health things, education is really the secret. You have to explain to people whether how diet, how smoking, how substance abuse, how alcohol abuse, how uh, hygiene impacts their lives. And if we were to educate our population better, if everybody understood which actions will reduce the chances of getting a disease, which actions will increase the chances, we would have an awful lot less pain and suffering and an awful lot of less expense in terms of curing people.